What is up, YouTubers? Johnza here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Violet. And in the last video, as we were here in this town, uh, fighting on that stage out there, uh, we take we took on the Electric Gym and the Water Gym, so all that's taken care of. And in between episodes, you can tell I got a little, um, a little more of a style going on, you know? And, uh, yeah, I did kind of change up the team a little bit. We will try to still use the others, but, um, yeah, also, uh, yeah, I evolved this by accident a little bit. I think I did record, did I record it? Hold on, actually. Album, uh, it was here, right at this moment. This is when it was evolving. So our ghetto was evolving. So I thought I'd at least show off what it evolved to. Even though everyone pretty much knows it at this point, but, you know. God, I guess the evolutions go by quick. Remember when evolutions used to be, like, only, like, it would take longer? That's practically instant. But yeah, that's what it evolves into. Uh, Meow Scarda. Which is interesting. I mean, still on two feet, but, eh. You know, I'm still always a fan of the starters, but there is another starter that is almost to its next level too, so I think we should level him up with one small candy. There we go. Evolve! Evolve into something cooler! I swear, he's been like this ever since, um... Ever since the first episode, <laughs> remember in the first episode we we uh, we immediately evolved Frey Coco, and now he evolved from a core collar to a Skele Ridge. Look at him; he looks so badass. He looks so badass, and he's a ghost type, which is amazing. Another fire. Well, actually, was it fire last time? Yeah, fire ghost because the Hasui Typhlosion is also fire ghost. Torch Song. What is it? It seems like your signature move. It is a special attack. Uh, I don't think I really need round, and I like Flamethrower too, so... If only there was a way to change Terror Types. Well, I mean, I don't know yet, but I bet a lot of you guys do now, so... Yeah, um... But yeah, as you can tell, we also have some other, well, two others in the party right now. We have Whizcash, just because I feel like we should have an actual water type. And, uh, someone with a ground type move that would actually be well for him, since it's like, since he's special and everything. And he has an electric type move and his terror types flying, which is interesting. Now, obviously, that doesn't help me with that, but I think that was interesting. If he was an electric type, that would be very interesting. And then we have this dude, which evolves into the new pre-pseudo-legendary, which is, evolves into a drag... It's already a dragon ice type, which is interesting. This is free, Freegibax, Freegibax, which, you know, it's Ice Vein, Dragon Claw, Bite, and Leer, which is already nice. And his Terra type is Fire, which once we get, like, Terra Blast, which Terra Blast is a move that is connected to your Terra type, then that might be very helpful when uh, that happens. So I kind of want to keep him around for a little bit. But enough about that. Uh, now that we kind of did a bit of recaps. This lady, right here. She's asking for a Perchin. Per 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 I don't have a Pokemon that I can ride on water. But I want to meet some lovely sea Pokemon. If you have a Perinchu, I will willingly uh, willing to trade you it for my Haunter. Sure, why not? I bet it definitely has an evolution stone, so it's gonna freaking yeah. Here are the other two again. They're just over here. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it won't have a uh, evolution stone this time. Oh god, we're really wait how? Wait, where's it gonna wait? Uh, bye. So wait, did you just have your haunter way out in the distance? You didn't even have him on you? <laughs> oh, you had it as a nickname. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. So we registered it into the Pokedex. We have a Haunter. 
And it doesn't have an evolutionary stone. Screw you, person in snow in Snowpoint City. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know, back in Sinnoh, or back in Diamond and Pearl, there was a lady that you can trade a, or you can get, trade them a Machan, or Medichan? Medichan, that's what it, it is. Uh, trade that for her Haunter. And you think, oh, free Gengar, because it evolves by trade, right? She puts an evolutionary stone on, or not an evolutionary stone, sorry, an Everstone, which prevents it from the, from, uh, prevents the Pokemon from evolving. Glad they finally fixed that mistake. They didn't even decide to fix that in frickin' the remakes of Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl 2. It's still there. So, yeah, now we have a Gengar, which has a name as well. Nice. Oh, my darling Hot Hunt Inkins evolved into Gengar. I heard some rumors about a Pokemon that evolve when they are traded. Oh, is that so? Well, at least you didn't decide to put an evolutionary stone on him. That, that's good on you. Alright, let's take a look at this Gengar. I bet you it's like, like, it, obviously the terror type's either ghost or poison. Okay, it's ghost type. Ooh. If we could change its nature later, having it lower attack and higher defense might be a better option, if I'm being honest. Uh, but it has Payback, Spike, Curse, and Hacks. It's level 25, so it's not really even good enough to join the team right now. Do you want to see more of its summary? English, obviously. Yeah, it definitely has the ghost type moves too, which is interesting. I don't have anything that can change... Well, I think that would be like an ability... Or at least like mints. I don't think I have mints yet. Which I guess we can change that later in the future. I think mints would be over here, right? Evolutionary stones, float stone. I don't know what these shards are, but I've been finding them uh, in some of the raids uh, in between episode. I've gotten like... Flying Terra Shard, Fairy Terra Shard, I don't know what these are. Uh, on raid occasions, these shards uh, from the, when I, these shards from the Terra Pokemon fall in battle and its Terra Jewel shatters. Okay, I don't know why we have these, but does it like boost? It doesn't really say, so. I don't know, interesting. And yeah, it doesn't look like we have anything... I also got a lot of food as well, so we'll have some more picnics eventually. Which is interesting, we have a whole lot of food. We got hamburgers, fried fullet, eggs, cheese, bananas. I grabbed a lot of bananas. Uh, apple, kiwi, pineapple. Gross. <laughs> and then picnic sex. I gotta watch what I say sometimes. I literally just said picnic sex. Ooh, it's a very kinky one indeed. <laughs> uh, did not mean to say it like that. I don't know why I'm... Fire Pledge. Oh, right, I forgot. There's the... I found these at one point. They're like the starter, like, pledge moves, which are pretty powerful. Which normally can be learned by the starters only. You can learn Aura Sphere? I guess you are a fighting type. Uh, I don't know if that's what's best for you right now either, so I'm gonna just say no. And I guess I'll just keep the same team for now. I'll just leave, um, Cole Sire and Cloth in the box for now. Alrighty, as of this video though, whoops, let's see. So we took care of this gym. Uh, we zoom out. The next closest thing is the next for the Path of Legends, which is over here, which is the next Titan. Although I don't know how tough the Titan would be. Uh, it is a Steel type, and I do have a Fire type with me. I guess I could start heading in that direction, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, right now I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we're done four gyms now. Uh, two of the Star... Battles are defeated. 
And uh, so far, besides the one we're going to, we have three uh, three done for the uh, Titans. So after we take care of this Titan, this will be like the next Titan defeat. Like there should only be like one Titan afterwards. I don't know. Should I battle some of these guys? Eh, why not? And yes, I know I have two dragon types on me, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Go! Oink long. I never really decide to stop and uh, fight once in a while. Oh, you're only level 27. Oh, I'm definitely not going to Terrestrialize. It's not really going to help me. I think the only time it would really help me... Like, what could it really do to help? Well, I guess against grass types it could help me. I mean... I may not be like suit like I may not have a flying type move, but I don't know. I mean, I could also avoid ground type moves, but I'm also a ground type as well. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's check out our other newest team member, which can Terra type into a fire type. Unfortunately, can't learn any fire type moves. Which would have been dope if you can learn Fire Fang. That would have been nice. Oh, there you are. Can we, there we go. That's a better uh, effect. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, maybe bite for the flinch. Oh no. Ouch. All right, that's fine. We'll just use Dragon Claw. I don't know when this thing evolved. Oh. Well, you see, that was rude. It's fine. I kill you next turn anyway, so I think I'll be fine. Nice. Sweet. I don't know if I'll record uh, two or three tonight, but I'll see what I can do with uh, recording some of these. Uh, who's up front? I don't know if this is a good idea, but just seeing how everyone is, well, you might get more experience if I do this, so. I didn't mean to actually throw it at. Uh, let's just run. Because I didn't mean to fight you that way. Now you fight. Get away from me! Help! Help! They're... They're coming after me! H help me, my tiny little dragon! I haven't been doing that as much. Just letting my Pokemon, like, auto-battle for me. Oh, God! Get him! Get the Diglett! Get him! Get him! Smack him dead! Alright, well, I need to auto heal you. Ah, uh, Luxor should be fine. I do still have more candies, which I guess I can't. Eh, should I start leveling them up a little bit? Let's see, I have one extra rare candy. Ah, uh, I mean, you're still kind of low, so. Use two for you. Take down. Nah. Oh, look at that, you evolve already. I didn't know when you evolved, but... I kind of figured it might have been soon. I don't think... I mean, I still think it might take a while for him to evolve into his next form. I kind of like how he's hunching over a bit. He's an Arctic Bax. Nice. He looks dope. There you go. Now he's a bit stronger. Uh, as for the rest, let's see if I can get you up to level 40. Three for every level? Oh god, no, it's just the, the small candies aren't really doing as much. Six. That only gave him one level. Twelve. 
There we go, level 40, that's fine. Take down. Didn't I already say no to this? Um, let's get, let's get you up there too. I'm gonna use all the rest of my small candies. You're pretty much there. Shadow Ball, now that's a good move to have. Good question. I mean, this seems weaker. Hang on. Oh, this one also boosts the special attack. That would be helpful. Hmm. I mean, Yawn, I feel like, might be useful. You know what? Let's ask Skelleridge for his advice. Yawn. Ah. You know what? No, we're gonna get a flamethrower. Plus, we can always re, like, learn these moves easy, anyways. So it's fine. Uh, speaking of which, um, these might go for a whole level if I go for one, or just about. That's fine too. Uh, I'll go two. Okay, maybe an extra one for Sligoo. Maybe one more extra for Sligoo. That's fine, I guess. Luxray, I'll bring you up to two levels. Plus one more. Okay, but hang on. Before I do anything else, I definitely want to also switch out the other starter here. I don't really want them on my team, honestly. I could do Coal Sire or Cloth. Who do I want more? They're both adorable and funny. Uh. Hmm. I mean, I don't really have any other grass type moves, though. That's a problem. You know what? Actually, let's let's just do this. Sorry, it's just I already have water type moves on you anyway, so I think it'll be fine anyways. But uh, yeah, this should be fine. Level up the rest of them. I just want to at least get everyone close to level 40 before moving on, because I don't know how tough the rest of them are going to be. We'll put two for you. You're 39. I'll put another two for you. Actually, you know what? I'll... Not six. Three. 39. Okay, you're level 40 anyways. And I'll bring Cole Sire up another level. There we go. Toxic? Hmm... Nah, you already have toxic spikes, it's fine. Alright, so this is the this is the whole team that we're using right now. Whoops. How's it going, buddy? Cool. Alrighty. Onwards. Back to adventure. Get the elephant. Nice. Get some free experience. Oh no you don't. Shit. I didn't want to physically fight you myself, but eh. Eh, you're easy to defeat anyways. There we go. Nice. Almost everyone's level 40 now. Nah. Nice. Oh, there's some Voltorbs over here too. I wish I could send multiple Pokemon to fight out here as well. Not just like, you know, in the uh, fight in arena that are back in like the uh, star bases. I mean, just in general. I think it'd be a little more faster to defeat Pokemon that way too. Defeat the Voltorb. Voltorb. Oh. Oh, well, that's the case. Ah, uh, wrong way. M. There. I'm also gonna auto heal you again. There we go. I know we also still have like two dragon types as well, but eh, I'm fine with it.
Oh? I think it's because we're near the next Titan. Yo, Johnza! So somewhere in one of the mines around uh, here, we should find the lurking Steel Titan. Rumor has it that th the thing's sternly huge and really long. Oh, I think I remember what this is. I was a little spoiled on what the rest of the Titans are, um, but I don't really remember until I hear about it. But this should be like that, like the uh, Worm Steel Pokemon. Uh, I don't know its name. Uh, you'd think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might uh, help you catch up. Well, looks like we might need a Moraladon for this. Dove Trio. Attack! I said attack! But... Sneak attack! Oh, and Doug Drio's just right in front of me. Okay, uh, disarming voice. Yeah, atta attack the Doug Drio too. Thank you. Alright, just clear the path for me. That'll be swell. Thank you. Uh, I'd like you to attack the uh, Roly Colies too. Uh, they are nothing but pests. Get him out of my way. Uh, thank you very much, Skelleridge. Nice. And no, I still haven't gotten Quaxley yet. <laughs> In case anyone hasn't noticed. There we go. Oh my god, it looked like it was literally gonna blow up. Eh, yeah, why not? Let's fight you. Let's actually see Skelleridge in combat. <coughs> he said he had steel, so I'm guessing he has a steel type. Oh, silly me. I was actually, like, editing ex well, edit in a video just beforehand. Well, you know, edit in. And I completely forgot to start exporting it. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, it's the engine Pokemon. Well, um, Torch Song, goodbye. Oh yeah, wait, wasn't the last Titan also part of Steel-type? Or it was, like, it was, like, supposed to be the Ground-type, but it was also, like, weak to fire. What was a Ground-Steel-type? I, I literally forgot what it was. I literally forgot one of the other Titans. I know Cloth is one of them, but there was also that bird Pokemon. Uh, which was, like, a Stork. Uh... Right, I remember now. It was the futuristic uh, Dawn fan, right? I forgot about that. Oh, we can literally catch our own. You know what? Let's go catch our own. Let's catch our own engine, because why not? Um, I will yawn. I don't know if I will actually attack it. Just because, well, yeah. <laughs> It's already pretty low level as well. Oh yeah, I could probably go back to that one cave. Remember that one cave with the Gibble and the Gabites? I didn't go through it yet because they were, they were like level 30 something. And I was like, oh god, get me out of here. But um... Eh, fuck, I'll throw an Ultra Ball. I don't even know if I can even purchase Ultra Balls yet. Nice. We caught ourselves an engine. We got a bat room. Yeah, I do remember last episode, I was really trying to get the uh, two gyms done in that one episode. Oh, you're poison type too, I didn't know that. Uh, C summary. Okay, so your terror type is steel, so you would be able to resist ground type at that point. Has there ever been a steel poison type before? I think this is the first time there's been a steel poison type. Huh, interesting. Anyways, you know, gyro ball, sludge, and assurance. Which, um, I wish I can view. Uh, you're more attack, so sludge is definitely not a good one, but the rest of the moves seem okay. Yeah, where you met him, blah, blah, blah. Uh, just into the boxes. Put him in the decks. Nice. 
Can't wait for DLC to come out for this game. I swear, I may not even be done recording when the DLC comes out. I just haven't had the time to play this, and I've been wanting to, like, record other videos, too. So, yeah, that's my excuse. Attack, Skeller Ridge. Attack my mighty beast. Jeez, remember the first stream I was recording this game? The first stream of this game that I uh, did? I was literally just having my fake Coco just battle around. Oh, there's Meowth. Bye, Meowth. Excuse me, coming through. Ten, knock it down while it's asleep. Nice. Meowth for Roly Coly Coal. Roly Coly Coal. He's Roly Coly Oly. <laughs> God, if anyone remember that, remembers that old children's show, man. That takes me back. I used to watch that when I was a kid. Look at this kid surrounded by cute fans. Gosh, it was amazing. Well, uh, you're gonna see all these elephants get destroyed. I said all of the elephants get destroyed. All of them. Get him! Attack! Destroy! Get them! I want the item, so get him! Oh, you also grabbed it too, okay. No, 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 there's no escaping. Uh, the Diglets can live, because they have a type advantage over me. Or, you know, you can just go and attack one too, that's fine. There you go. Alright, so where is this Titan Pokemon? I guess I should look at my map. Oh, it's over here. Um, it looks like there might be a path up around this way that might lead me to it. Oh, I thought I was just about to fight the Diglett. It's like, no fair, I was in my map. No cutie fan gets away. It said no cutie fan. Get him! Good. Okay, you're still attacking. That's nice. Uh, so... Is there another way up? Yeah, let me stop attacking Pokemon and actually, like, look around. Do, 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 do. God. I know for a fact that next time we, uh... Or the next... After this time, we should be able to climb walls. Maybe. Okay, I want to grab the items, thank you. Damp Rock and Super Potion. Oh, hey, another Pokemon Center. Wait. Oh, interesting. Okay, actually, hold on. Let me go this way first. Get to the Pokemon Center. And then, because this is also another, like, um, of the Team Star bases, so... This might be a good idea for me to go to... Ah, I'll fight you all later. Whoa. Yeah, I feel like it'd be so easy to miss a Shiny around the area, too. There's another Pokemon Center... I... There are literally three Pokemon Centers within sight of me right now. What is happening? Yeah, that's another Team Star fall base. I think it's the Fairy one. Let me, uh, just... Mess around here at the Pokemon Center real quick. Nice. Uh, I mean, I think Cole Sire might be good for the fairy, uh, or for this Team Star base. And if I had a Steel type, that would be nice. I don't think I have a steel type move. Well, maybe. I think maybe Cloth might know one. Let me check. I think Cloth knows a steel type move because I know those are super effective against uh, Fairy, which he does. And he's more based on attack, which is nice. And of course, you have Poison Jab and Toxic Spike, so you two seem to be the ones that I would need. See, see, that's why I should have. That's why I brought you two in and just replaced everyone else. You two are. You two are the key to the Fairy one. 
And Ruffles just chilling up there. Okay, so... I gotta go up here. This is the way I have to go. Indeed it is, because the cutscene to- Oh, wait, what? Where did you come from? You were not here a second ago. Shadow ball him. I need to save my torch songs. Get out of here, you stupid tumbleweed. <laughs> I just like his, um, cry too, just the- Aww. Another tumbleweed. Wait. No, this is... Is this it? Wait a minute. Where am I? I'm on the wrong one! Just set destination. Oh, it's more that way. Oh, this way. Okay. I should be able to make it, though. It's a bagon. Over there. Thankfully, I can glide. So wait, is it in the cave there? Oh, I see him now. There we go. <laughs> Got him! It's the giant worm! Hi. Oh, you have arms! The worm has arms! Alright, we got this. I'll save my terrestrialize him for when we actually... And this should... Oh, wait, I already just won. Okay, well, um... Something tells me the last Titan I fought was, uh, not supposed to be that weak. Or it was, it was actually stronger than this one. I think this one was supposed to be done first. I went into the hole. Get back here. You think you escaped me? Oh, jeez, look. Just made a big-ass tunnel. Going through the tunnel, going through the tunnel, hello! Okay, I guess I just have to, like, follow him until... You better make me climb mountains! Get more of that Herbic Mystica. <coughs> Alright, I should be able to still beat him, even when I trash lies. Yo, what up, Arvin? Jonza, you managed to pin down the Titan! That's the lurking Steel Titan. It's, uh, well, it sure is long. I think our little friend might be even faster now, after eating those herbs. So am I just going to get more faster from this after, or we're going to need to do this together, Jonza. Um, actually, I think I might be able to one-shot it here. I think you can just go home. You have a toad skull? Really? Alright, time to terrestrialize. Alright, I already think I know what I'm going to call this episode. The Giant Worm! <laughs> Look at him, he's a giant worm! Why do I sound like Arnold? I don't know. Ah, get to the chopper! Now imagine Chandelure with the fire type terrestrializing type. A candle on a candle. Yeah, you didn't have to. I, I had everything under control.
Nice. Good job, Skeletor Ridge. Nice. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna go through more dialogue and blah blah blah. We did, Johnza. Way to go, little buddy. Why am I have to be the little buddy? I mean, I get you're taller, but still, why you got why you have to short shame me like that, Arvin? Come on. I'm doing this for your dog, Pokemon. How dare you? <laughs> did you get a good look at his face, though? I didn't expect the Titan uh, to be such a little cutie. Really, that thing cute? It was huge. It wanted to eat us. <laughs> I swear, it wanted to eat us. But if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica. Uh, it, it ate before. Let's find it before that thing can regroup. As normal. I wonder if you have to, if you can go back in these caves, because I did see an item, uh, after the last Titan, in the certain cave, but I couldn't go back into it. Come out, come out, wherever you are, even though you guys can't see it. There you go. Nice. Yes, found it. Here's our little herb. The stealthy herb. The salty herb? <laughs> the shape, the shine. It looks like it, it'll taste horrible, which means it's gotta be good for you. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Well, apparently... Salty Herpica Mista helps with the uh, aching hands and feet. Good for uh, nermophy and numbness. Uh, when you've got uh, muscle weakness, it surprisingly builds up strength again. No time to waste. Let's get some food going. Yeah, something tells me I think you get these certain powers with these certain uh, titans. And I think this is the one I'm supposed to do first. But, uh, yeah. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, as a token of friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it as uh, you eat. So that's our fourth Titan badge. We only have one more Titan badge to go, and that's that. <laughs> and we still need three of the star badges. And four gym badges, so... Ah, how did I expect you to show up? Hold on, can I make it brighter? There we go. I'll share. Come on out, Mufasa. Food's up. Have this nice sandwich. Get your strength to stand again. Ooh, would you uh, look at that? Seems like something's got a proper appetite now. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> and now we're gonna be able to climb, right? Really? That that's the new power up. I wanted the climb. <laughs> Seems like that fellow also slowly regained its original strength. Still doesn't look like uh, it. It's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. It seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing him to return to its true form. A mental block? Uh, I've read it about it in a book before. A uh, mental scar, like, uh, psychologically trauma, uh, you know, I think that's what you call it. Maybe, maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure both that, uh, Bruta and Mess, <laughs> that Brute and Mabu Stiff will make a full recovery eventually. So, how do you feel, Mabu Stuff? How is that Herba Miska working? Yeah, uh, no pressure. 
not like it's fair to expect any every kind of herba miska to have some huge effect, right? They did for me, so. And it's not like the uh, effect has to be immediate either. Oh, there is another item here. It's literally right under his legs. And I won't be able to get it. Why do I feel like it's something story-wise for later? Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. Johnza. Johnza and I are going to make sure you're right as rain. We've got more herbs. We have one more herb to go. And I bet it's the best of them all. It's just got to be. All right, Johnza. Ne uh, the next stop is our little herb hunt should be our last. But we can't lose uh, steam until we're done. Let's keep our momentum here. Uh, here we go. <laughs> They're like, this guy is way too excited. Yeah, I know, right? I have to be with them 24-7. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Hello, Jansa. This is Turo. I detected that Moraladon has regained more of its original power. Uh, while you're riding upon it, it seems you can jump higher if you press and hold the B button. Uh, you must continue helping Moraladon recover. So, like... Wait, so that's a normal... Wait, okay. Here's a normal jump. Here's a big jump. Okay, that's a pretty big jump. I mean, I guess that does kind of help me get around some places a bit easier, so I can just... <sighs> yeah, that's a bit easier, because I don't think I was able to... <sighs> <sighs> nice. I don't know. Can I make that? Oh, hey, it's the worm again. You know, before I catch a room. Hey, I can make it all the way up here. Speaking of which, worm. Let's capture the worm. Gonna yawn ya. Iron hand. Not very effective. Eh, I won't use such a, a mi oh wait. I just realized when I captured the engine guy earlier, he wasn't even asleep. <laughs> he wasn't even asleep yet. You know bulldoze? Well, it doesn't do much because you're not that high effect. Alright, Great Ball still should work now. Now that he's asleep. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure with my engine Pokemon that I caught earlier in the episode, I'm pretty sure he was not... Well, he was not asleep, so... Author Worm was caught. Nice. Level 41. Uh, let's see a summary. Okay, so obviously Steel and this Terra type Steel type. Iron Head, Bulldoze, Smack, and wake, uh, Med Slap. Okay, they all seem like physical attacks, but he's more of a physical attacker anyways. Low on speed, but he's very high in defense. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm gonna send you to the box for now. Bakuhita, what are you doing here? Also, I saw this, like, very, like, funny, uh, Pokemon video. Um, I'll end the episode here in a second. But, uh, I saw this funny, like, Pokemon video where, uh, you know, where do I have to go? So, wait, wait. Wait, where is it over here? Oh, that's a fine type. Where? Wait, where did I? Where did it go to before? Wait. Oh, wait. Oh no, that's not fairy. That's poison. Oh, I got that mistaken then. Okay. But um, there was this funny video of Pokemon Violet that I saw, which obviously it wasn't anything spoiler, but like, it was someone hatching a spring a Tito egg. And Psyduck's just, like, running down the bridge towards, like, the egg, like, just so happily. <laughs> and then, right when it hatched, like, Psyduck's pretty much, like, there at that point. He just cheers for joy. It was, it was so funny. Alright, so this is a poison gym? Or a poison? 
area. I thought it was, like, gonna be a, uh... Guess it's poison. Alrighty. Well, cloth's gonna be more useful here. Uh, change positions. Um, I mean, I guess I can change your terror type to poison to help us out, so I guess I can bring you up front, too. Uh, and you're technically a poison type, too, and you have mud slap, so... Yeah, you you three seem to be the best options for this. But we're not gonna do it till next episode because we are out of time. Uh, I'm gonna at least grab this item first before we end off the video. Uh, sorry, items. X accuracy. Alright. So I'm gonna end things here in the next episode. We will move forward towards the Poison Team Star Base. And uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe or whatever. And I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time. No, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, it Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I